Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Guest the Gengar, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we left off, we started the Tower, the Lighthouse. We started the Lighthouse. I was gonna say the Tower Challenge, but it, it's not. Um, all we started the Lighthouse. Um, we got like uh, two floors up, and then we stopped. Um, today we're gonna try to make it to the top as fast as we can. Because honestly, these episodes can drag on a bit if we're not going fast. Um, I don't really remember exactly what happened last time. Uh, I hope we healed. We healed. Alright, cool. So, um, yeah, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. And there's just a couple things I want to talk about. Just a couple. Like, honestly... Now I'm thinking about it, there's not really much. Um, so I'm recording this at the end of the week. <laughs> Ruining your immersion, I'm sorry. But uh, t this week was pretty right, you know? Um, I did a stream, uh, lasted like three, almost four hours. Uh, and honestly, pretty great. It started off rough, uh, not a lot of people were there. And out of nowhere, my boy comes and joins the stream. Uh, he talks for a bit and ended up getting in a call. It was really great, honestly. It's it's fun making new friends. Um, and I feel like he may have saved the stream and just, you know, being there in general because uh, I... I I run out of things to talk about usually when I'm just sitting there by myself, and sometimes I forget to read chat. Uh, I think it's at Glacian? I'm not 100% sure I was not paying attention. Uh, thanks that Anthro for stopping by. It was great. Hope to have you again sometimes. Sometimes. Sometime. Um, then after that, uh, I didn't... I, I, Alright, so last time, uh, the first time I streamed, um, it was pretty smooth, just downloaded the VOD, everything worked fine, but this time, holy crap, I was ready to throw my computer through a wall. <laughs> I should be talking about Pokemon, but I, 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 I just want to talk about this, you know? I like talking about streaming, I like streaming, it's fun. But, um, I downloaded the stream, it was in two VODs, one that was like a 30 minute one, because the stream was dropping frames for some reason, and the other one was just the whole first half of the street well first three halves of the stream um and for some reason no editor that i currently i use i normally use camtasia for what i need because you know it's simple to use it doesn't like you don't have to go really in depth about it you can just get what you need in and out like like that it's just done but for some, well, Camtasia is kind of trash though. Like honestly, it's like probably the worst editing program I could be using because it has a lot of issues. Um, so I tried a couple other ones. I tried VideoPad, which was awful, and then I looked up like this five best free fucking video editors, even though it's probably like a horrible idea. And all of those were trash. The first one I tried, I don't remember the name. I think it was like Vitamaster or some shit. I don't remember. I'll have to look them up later. Um, but basically, none of it was synced at all. Like, the, it was just one file. It was just an MP4 file, and I'm so confused on how it somehow managed to unsync the video and audio that was on the same track. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened. And I think someone said it was like because the fucking video was not 100% recorded at 60 FPS like it was at 59.97 so that's like no that shouldn't be how it works at all so then I tried like another two programs and my friend saw me getting real frustrated with this and was like yo you just want access to my Adobe Premiere and I was like that'd be great <laughs> if it works that'd be great so, my boy, the Varied Geek, hooked me up. Uh, I'll put his link in the comments. Uh, and, you know, I tried regular Adobe... Oh, ooh, Joe, I'm sorry. I tried regular Adobe Premiere because I'm like, it can't be that hard. And I was an idiot and ignored all 
the um the little instructions on how to pr uh, edit videos, and that was a huge mistake. Because holy shit, Premiere is complicated. Let me tell you that. Um, but luckily, Adobe came out with something called Premiere Rush, and if you own Premiere, you get automatic access to that or some shit. So I tried that, and it was fairly simple. It just import your import your file that you want to edit, trim it down with like the two bars on each side, and then just add effects or whatever. And honestly, if if Pokemon wasn't so complicated to edit, and it's not like really complicated, if it wasn't such a pain in the ass to edit. Honestly, I would love to edit in that because it also has this feature where it, you can enhance voices and shit. Um, I forgot there's a door here. I always, I always thought it was a like I always keep thinking it's a window, but you can enhance like a, your voice whenever, or you can even though the audio isn't the same track, if you just raise it normally, it's just gonna make both the music into louder, higher, but it automatically had this. Thing. I don't know if it just changes the pitches and stuff, or what, it's basically like a filter, where it kind of like tones down the background sounds and raises your voice up, and I mean, I don't need it, but honestly, that shit was great. It made my life so much easier, because usually I have to, like, enable noise cancellation and then fucking turn reverb down and shit, and it's like, why, why bother with all that shit? And I could just click a button and boom. Um, it's gonna still sound weird though because I ha still haven't gotten the audio right with streaming. Um, like at the end of a stream, it'll be all good, but then I start the next stream, and for some reason, it's just like all wonky. Also, I need to keep—I need to remember to switch out teammates. I can't just keep using Metalhead. But either way, I got all. <laughs> I think I separate it into three parts of the VOD out, and we're good. Everything, I think, now on, when I stream, after the two-hour mark, I'm just gonna stop the stream and restart it for, like, a part two to make life easier on me. Because when the stream was originally, like, two hours, it, there wasn't a problem. Um, I think I'm also gonna stick to 30 FPS, you know, just cause... Ooh, a dusk ball. That's cool. Um... Mainly because I just, you know, I just don't want to, I just don't want to deal with another, like, thing like that again. Even though I have access to Adobe Premiere, I don't want to make a, a habit of having to use it. Because, you know, there could be just one day where it's not there. I think this should be good. Honestly, Psychic would probably be best for this. Also, I have... In terms of this, I'm done with the streaming stuff now. Um, in terms of this, though... Um, trying to... I'm trying to remember where I put it. I have a type chart now of this generation, right? And hooey. Was I wrong about some shit? At the same time, there still seems to be a problem with typings, because I'm, I'm still I, I'm still a high believer, even though I can just go back and check, that early on there was some sort of bug with that Kaboot Ops. But now I do know that Ghost is basically only super effective against uh, other Ghosts and was that Psychic? And Psychic is not very effective at Ghost and Dark, but it is super effective against Fighting. Or no, yeah, Fighting? Bug. Oh, wait. Um, this chart's really confusing, but if I ever really get lost, I'm going to pull this up. Um, and that's Q to bring out Sire. Um, one thing I did forget to do is look up where the, um, Name Raider is. Uh, I have a feeling he might be in Goldenrod. So hopefully we can start, uh, maybe using Horsey, I don't know. 
because honestly Sire is pretty good and I kind of don't have a reason to take him off the team. I also, because of the Pokemon Coliseum randomizer, know that I, if I ever do a randomizer again, I'm definitely not randomizing the moves because so, sometimes you can just get stuck in shitty situations like whew like um, sometimes you just get Pokemon that don't ever learn an ability typing that's super effective against what you're usually going to be going against and that really hurts in the end because you know when you're going against the legendary but you got no water type moves or the only water type Pokemon you have knows fucking no, actually no, the water type Yeah, no one no one I had knew like water type moves or electric type moves. So then like these mole traces would just keep popping out of nowhere and they would just give me the hardest of times. And also I'm gonna do heal. Uh I don't really need to, but let's go like great. Uh pretty sure if I went over one more I could have gotten a double battle. I was gonna see if I can get them both out of the way in one go. Oh, hey, Mew! Um, yeah, you're the one with the Simpsons Super. Fuck! I forgot you knew that. Um, shit. No. I don't have fire, I think. Brown's super effective, so I might need to switch over to Metal... Or not Metalhead, uh, Sire. And... Yeah, there we go. Just need to make sure Sire doesn't die in the process. Um, I also need to, uh, a lot of games have been coming out recently. Well, not recently. Um, a lot of demos, let's say. Um, as some of you may know, I'm a huge Destiny fan. Um, I have it on PC. Don't really play it though, because you know all my progress is on PS4. So. I don't want to replay and redo all a bunch of stuff and grind for legendary and exotic gear that I already have in one console just to play comfortably on the other. But a new game that my friends and I are hoping will replace it called Anthem is coming out. And the demo for PC um Oh fuck yeah. The demo for the PC VIP demo came out, and it was like, it's alright, like, honestly. Um, I enjoyed the game, though I'm not used to playing on keyboard and mouse, so my wrist ended up hurting it a bit at the end. Uh, I need to find a program to allow it to work with PS4 controllers, because it doesn't do it naturally like, you know, any Steam game does now, basically. Or it doesn't have an option to let you like, use it. So, I played a bit of that with some friends, um, we were all planning on getting on PC, but then, like, one overestimated how well his PC would run it, um, I underestimated it, I thought I was gonna be, like, running at, like, only 40 frames a second, since my CPU is not at the minimum recommendation, but, you know, it runs fine, um, the flying in it is, like, uh, No Man's Sky, which I honestly hate, like, Flying with keyboard and mouse is honestly painful. Just, I hate it. Um, recently played the Resi 2 demo. I played it on PS4 first. Uh, it was alright, you know. Uh, I kind of goofed up. I didn't know. I, I've never played Resi 2. So I didn't know what to do and ended up wasting all my half an hour. Mainly just trying to find the door to the least the hallway for the second part of the fucking demo. And my second attempt, I beat it in fuck five, six minutes. 
Um, but I am excited now. I do want to play Resi 4, or not Re Resi 2 Remake, but I need a way, I need to find a way to actually play it. It'd be cool if I could play it on stream. Uh, the very geek was plan planned on streaming it. Um, he did the first 20 minutes on his channel. Um... And then he went to go to Twitch, but he didn't actually have the settings, like, turned on on Twitch to automatically save your VODs. So he ended up losing, like, a good three-hour stream, and I feel bad for him. Um, I think... I'm trying to... Something's just being weird right now. Alright, and we made it to the top. Uh, this Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but suddenly it got sick. It's just gasping for air. I understand there's a wonderful pharmacy in Cinnawood, but it's across the sea and I can't leave my Amphi unattended. So I don't know what this is. Rock incense. Okay. I think I could sell them for some good money, but other than that... Eh. Um, we can have a little bit of... Actually, yeah, we could probably get the adventure started. I think there's some islands, like, in between here and there. So, I'm gonna go there. I don't have my notifications turned off on my phone. Um... Ah! What the fuck? I'm going to go check the message, and my... My phone wire was cut in the drawer, so... Right, so, I'm pretty sure... Let's go check this route, because I'm... I think... I think we haven't gotten an encounter for this route. 40? So let's go check our Pokémon. Oh wait, I mean, I, I'm not taking into account if we uh, like saw a Pokemon here and it got away. I'm just gonna assume it didn't. Hopefully no one gets mad at me, because I honestly don't want to go through the last couple of videos to check. So if it's not in here, I'm gonna assume that we haven't gotten a Route 40 encounter. And I haven't changed my team out since we got it, so... Also, let me turn off my phone notifications, because, you know... Um, there's gonna be a lot of water fighting, or water, or fucking not. There's gonna be a lot of swimming trainers, and I'm probably just gonna ignore that. I think there's, like, a thing up here. Uh, first you arrive, we'll soon be on Frontier Pass here on the line, first to spend, you know, suffer days. Dude, it's a whole fucking, like, area. You're probably not even going to get anything from being the first person there. Alright, so assuming we haven't gotten an encounter, let's do that now. I think we're good on Pokeballs, so... Also, this might be like the first or second time I've recorded during the day. And we got Shelter. Ooh. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Shelter is pretty alright. Cloister's alright. Now, if he has a skill link ability, I'll be happy. Um, I don't think we have anything for water types, well, at least for Pokeball related. So, you're level 12, so Jim's the only I need. I need to find a Pokemon with False Swipe, honestly. I don't know what I'm saying honestly a lot. Um, let's just use Gust. I don't think that'd be really... It's a really crap move, so it shouldn't do too much. Uh, as long as it doesn't crit, we should be fine. Alright, good job, Shelby. And let's just... Uh, Pokeball. Pokeball's fine. One, two, three... Eh. Um, Grinch, uh, what are we gonna call you? Something like clammy, but um, uh, 
Uh, not yet. Clam, clams. Yeah, we're gonna even do clams. Um, I don't. You know what? I think. Ninkata. I would have liked a Ninkata. Right. You know what? We, we got some progress done on this episode. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to stop the episode here. And then I'll start the next episode with a montage of me facing all the trainers. And then, you know. We'll, see. we'll start from there. We'll start from there. So, I hope you all had a wonderful time. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'm trying not to clap my hands too loud, because I usually clap up everything. Um, did I already say I hope you all had a wonderful day? No, I hope you all had a wonderful day either way. And... Until next time... Bye bye